Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a St. Patty's Day makeup look using the ColourPop Just My Look palette. It is a really gorgeous palette. It has all these really pretty green tone eyeshadows and you can create so many different looks with this palette, but I thought this would be perfect for St. Patty's Day, which is coming up on the 17th. If you are Irish, holla to you. I'm not Irish, but my boyfriend is. <laughs> Luke, you just moved my camera, sir. Here we go. So yeah, I thought this look would be fun to do and to show you guys a St. Patty's Day inspired makeup look. And this palette is really affordable. I got it on sale for nine bucks on ColourPop and they always do sales like this. So you could probably get it for nine bucks. I think it retails for 12, which is still a really good deal. I will say though, some of the shadows was a little hard to blend. Some of them did skip a little bit. So if you are a beginner with makeup, I would um, you know, take your time and just be really careful blending. But yeah, overall, I really do love this palette. It is such a steal for the price and the colors are so gorgeous. I'm sorry if you hear stuff outside. I just moved. So yeah, overall, I really do love this palette and I really do love the way this eye makeup turned out. And I am going to be doing one more look with this palette for St. Patty's, so keep an eye on that. So if you guys are interested on how I achieved this beautiful St. Patty's Day makeup, then just keep on watching. Also, a little update. I did finally move. I am in my new beauty room. It's only 10% completed. <laughs> it's a hot mess right now. Luke! My dog is... My Lukey Bear is not used to this new home yet there's a lot of new noises a lot of new you know it's just different we have the trash people out in the hallway we have the city life the cars the trucks the trains so he is just a little on edge but he'll get used to it so yeah i did finally move and i am gonna do a whole beauty room tour and showing you guys how i'm gonna decorate it so stay tuned for that. It isn't going to be for a couple of weeks just because I am leaving to Colorado in two days and I will be gone for a week. So once I come back, I kind of have to like finish unpacking and then start, you know, buying stuff for my beauty room. But I am really excited. So that's why I've been a little MIA. I've been busy moving and I'm about to go to Colorado. So I am going to post one more video of a St. Patty's Day look. I'm thinking about maybe doing a Colorado vlog, like a skiing vlog while we're there, just to put some content out for you guys. And I thought it would be interesting to see, I don't know, how we ski. So yeah, that's the little update. So we will continue to the video. <laughs> Alrighty, so I already prepped my skin. I did my skincare and as well as my foundation. And I will link everything I use down below. I'm just going to pull my hair back and apply some lip balm. Alrighty, so for the eyes, the main palette we're going to be using is Just My Luck from ColourPop. And this is the perfect palette to get you the perfect St. Patty's Day makeup. <laughs> or, or you could use this for every day if you wanted to. <laughs> Alrighty, so the first color I'm going to go in with is this color right here, which is called Act Natural. And with a flat shadow brush, I'm going to apply that color. And this color is a matte green. And I'm just going to apply that right in the inner corner. Let's do the side first. Right in the inner corner. And we're just gonna do packing motions. Cause we're gonna go back in and blend everything. I forgot to put translucent powder on the side. So we're just gonna take some translucent powder and just kind of use this as a guideline instead of tape. Uh, I know it looks harsh and ugly, but we're going to go back in and blend it. And I'm going to take this color here, which is called Kiss My Hass. 
H-A-S-S. -S. I'm gonna apply a tiny bit and just lightly blend the edges on the top. Hey Luke. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, these colors are not blending that well. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I'm gonna take this fluffy one. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the Act Natural and with my other blending brush and just kind of reapply these corners here a tiny bit. Yeah, these shadows are not blending that great. <laughs> but we're gonna make it work. Okay, this is a little better. <laughs> now taking this color right here, which is called Big Banks, which is a really pretty shimmery green, and we're going to apply that all over the lid. And I'm just going to apply it without a setting spray first, and if I feel like I need to add some, I will. And we're just gonna pop that right in the center. Ooh, this color is pretty. Now taking that same white fluffy brush, we're gonna go in with the color Act Natural and apply a little bit more in the corners. And I'm gonna buff it right into the crease very lightly. And then taking a clean white fluffy brush and just going to blend all the edges together. I'm actually going to take this color right here, which is called Chances Are. It's the lightest color in the palette. It is a matte. And I'm going to lightly buff this over the crease. Just to add another transition color. And to make sure everything is nice and seamless. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with the darker color in the palette, which is called Mo Mamba. And I'm gonna apply that on a flat shadow brush. And very lightly, I'm gonna go right under here and apply it right underneath the lash line. Now taking a smaller white blending brush, I'm gonna go in with the color Kiss My Hass, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to buff that underneath here. Just to blow out the lower lash line a little bit more. So for my eyeliner on the lower lash line, I do want to pop a pop of color, which is this really pretty green from ColourPop, and it is the color Teaspoon. And I'm going to apply this in my waterline just to make it more green. This makeup look makes my eyes look green. I don't know if it's my camera. I'm digging it because I have some black eyes. So it does make my eyes pop a little bit, I love it. So for the inner corner highlight, I wanna try something different and apply this really pretty bright green color which is called Mary Jane. I love this color right here. And I'm gonna apply a tiny bit in the inner corner. And I am going to apply a setting spray just to amplify it a little bit more. I'm just gonna apply some mascara to prep the lashes. Alrighty, so for lashes, I'm gonna apply these, which I got from Amazon, and I did talk about them in my last video. Um, I'll show you what they look like again. They're just really pretty and fluttery on the outer ends. So I thought this would be perfect for this look. And 
I'm not gonna do a top eyeliner just because since these lashes do flare out on the ends um, I thought it would be perfect for the look and I didn't really need a, a wing liner or anything. So I'm just going to apply some glue on the lashes. By the way, look how many lashes you get in this pack. This is amazing. And it's super cheap. So while we wait for the lash to dry, I'm going to apply my blush in the meantime. And I am using this new blush I got, which is from ColourPop. And it's in the color Thanks for the M. I don't even know how to. I don't even know the name of this. Look. Do you see it? That's what it's called. So I'm going to apply this first. And then I'm going to do the other ColourPop blush, which is called Drop of a Hat. And I'm just going to apply that right on top. So I'm going to apply just a tiny bit of this one right on top. I feel like the lashes really completed the look because without it, it really needed a little oomph. Um, and I'm glad I didn't do wing liner because it does give me some like flutter on the ends. These lashes are so pretty. Hey, hey, are you protecting mommy? Hmm? Are you protecting mommy? Hmm? I need you to come sit here and chill. All right, so I am gonna try a new highlighter I got yesterday from Ulta. And I got a new tanner. Well, it's like a gradual tanner. I'm gonna test this out while I'm in Colorado. So it's a lotion. Anyways, so I did get a new highlighter from Ulta and it's a new e.l.f. highlighter and it's called the Metallic Flare in the color white gold. I'm really excited to try this because I love me a good highlighter. And I already applied my blush, so the last thing to really do is highlighter and then my setting spray and the lips. So should we swatch it first? Yeah, I think we should swatch it first and see the pigmentation. Okay. Okay, I don't see anything <laughs> on here. Let's try this again. Mm, I think this just might be really, really, really sheer. More of like a glow within highlighter than a pop-in highlighter. Okay, it's actually really pretty on the skin. Once you apply it with a brush, it appears a little bit more better. I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my nose. Take this lip balm off. Now taking a smaller detailed highlighting brush and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that and put it on the tops of my cheeks. Let me look up close because in camera it looks good but the highlighter is okay. Yeah, it's not my favorite. I do like the ColourPop one more um, than this one but it's okay. I like it. I mean, it was six bucks, so it was affordable. I am going to apply a tiny bit right on my brow bone just to add more of a highlight underneath there. So for lips, I am going to do something different and apply more of a pop of color and not a nude, which I prefer nude, but it's okay. This color is actually really pretty. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of lip liner first, just a tiny bit, which is the KKW Nude 2. And I'm just gonna apply just a tiny bit, and then... So for the actual lipstick, I am applying this ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip Color in the color scenic route it is really pretty and i do like these blotted lip tints or because they're not so drying and cracking on the lips like the matte ones are the 
The last thing we need to do is apply some setting spray, which is the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. It's my new favorite. I love it. If you haven't tried it, you need it in your life. It smells so good. Oh. Alrighty, so we are completed with the St. Patty's Day makeup look using the ColourPop Just My Look palette. So pretty. I really love the colors in here. I will say some of the shadows are really hard to blend. They're very skippy and just very harsh. But overall, I really do love the way this makeup look turned out. It's really pretty. My favorite color in this palette probably would have to be this one right here. It's called Mary Jane. I like this one. And I think I do want to do another makeup look using this color right here, which is called all of you i'll show you up close it's really pretty this is like my type of color i love me a good olive green color um so i'll probably do more of like a wearable look with that one i do love how i added a pop of color on my lips and it's nothing too crazy um just a little something than your average nude you could skip this part and just apply a nude but i really do love the way this turned out and these lashes are bomb i will link them down below they're amp they're from amazon i'll show you they're from Amazon. They're bomb. Yeah, I love that. Alrighty, so this completes the St. Patty's Day makeup look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your girl so you don't miss a video like this in the future. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.